place where we could be anyone we want to be. And we can bottle up our fear, brew a taste so sweet, and knock us off our feet. What is up, you guys? So today we're going to be analyzing Taylor Cut Films' video style. And I believe Taylor Cut Films is one of the most talented filmmakers in the game right now. And he is so incredibly inspiring to a ton of filmmakers, including myself. So I thought today we might just analyze his style. And yeah, we don't necessarily want to copy his style, but we kind of want to take some inspiration to kind of create our own style. So be creative. Um, I said that in my last Rory Kramer analysis video, but it's so important for you guys to be creative because that's how you guys can grow and become big as a filmmaker. Okay, so now let's just get started into analyzing his style. Okay, let's start off with the camera that he uses. He films with a Canon 1DX Mark II, and that is an incredible camera, and he shoots a lot of his stuff in slow motion. He shoots in 120 frames per second at 1080p, and I think it's so beautiful how he creates these slow motion shots, and it really like shows the beauty and everything, and it shows detail, and I think that's what makes his cinematography so beautiful. So now let's move on to some of the effects that he uses. He doesn't use too many effects actually he uses very minimal amount and I think it's good because putting a lot of effects would like ruin all the beautiful visuals that she has so he puts really light effects for example he uses opacity fades he uses a luma key effect and I'm gonna show you guys how to use that right now okay so let's learn how to do his little luma key fade transition so we're gonna do this in premiere pro so i have my two clips right here and i feel like this transition works really nicely when there's two different lightings or two different locations this clip has like one under a cave between the rocks and then another just like out side so what i'm gonna do is just bring my first clip to the second video line and then drag my second clip so that it goes a little bit under the first one and then what i'm gonna do is search up luma key in the effects and put it on my top clip and so now you can already see some sort of faded look on it so you can play around with the threshold and the cutoff sometimes it works really nicely with the threshold other times it works nicely with the cutoff for this clip it looks like this effect would look cooler if i started off with the cutoff so i'm going to keep my threshold at 0% and then I'm gonna keep my cutoff at 0% and press the keyframe button because this is the normal clip and then I'm gonna go a little bit forward and I'm gonna change the cutoff to a hundred percent and you can actually go to the threshold and then keyframe that to go from 0 to 100 as well but I'm actually gonna use the opacity instead because I know Taylor Cut Films uses the opacity a lot of the times with this effect so I'm gonna go up to opacity and I'm gonna press the keyframe button right where I had my last keyframe for my luma key and then I'm going to go all the way to the end and then change that opacity to zero so now it looks like a really cool transition it looks like my second clip is like appearing through the cave that's the luma key fade okay so now i'm just gonna duplicate this and show you what it looks like without the luma key so i'm just gonna delete the luma key and so now it's just a regular opacity fade which is another one of his effects that he likes to use often and he uses rotoscoping to create a sort of unreal alternate universe sort of thing for example he like replaces the sky he opens the door to like a new place he uses a lot of rotoscoping and he uses it really nicely like he somehow is managed to be able to make it look so realistic and another thing he uses sometimes for his travel films is speed ramping so i'm gonna leave it links to all the tutorials that i have for these effects in the description but i think it's really important to point out that he really doesn't overuse it with the effects at all he makes it so light i think one thing why we love taylor cup films travel videos so much is because of this continuous motion throughout the video so he's like always moving with his clips but really slowly and it sort of like all comes together it feels like we're just going through motion and he's always moving he never really has any tripod shots and his cinematography is absolutely beautiful he really likes to use Alyssa in his videos his newer videos have actually come to like a sort of different style his recent videos have been mainly of him and him being like this main character and I think it's really cool that he sort of has a story in his videos. So he has been doing a lot of recent like advertisements and stuff but it doesn't feel like they're ads at all because he's creating like different illusions and they're all sort of trying to tell a story and I just think that's like one of the most important things about filmmaking is like storytelling. Okay next let's talk about some of the color for his videos. He has a really faded sort of tone to his videos 
and also it has like a really dreamlike glow look and I think it creates a really fantasy sort of world and it looks really cool I think it really like showcases what his style is okay so for this glow effect I still have my transition clips that I used earlier in this tutorial but I'm gonna hold my two clips and then you can right click and press nest I have a keyboard shortcut so we're just gonna nest the sequence right now so I'm just gonna press ok so it basically just makes one sequence combining the two clips and then what I'm gonna do is hold alt on the sequence and bring it to the second line so we have two copies of it okay so now I will link it in the description but I have a preset pack and this glow look is in that pack it's absolutely free so you can download it so I'm just gonna search up the glow look in effects and I'm gonna put that on my second clip and so now you can already see this cool dreamy looking effect and you can adjust the blurriness to make it look more glowy or less glowy. And so yeah, that's kind of how you get that dreamy looking look like Taylor Cut Films. Okay, next, one of the most important things that he always stresses about his videos is sound design. He uses it to create a more realistic setting of the video. <laughs> I really don't know where he gets his sound effects, but a lot of where I like to get my sound effects include freesound.org. I like to use Adobe's actual sound effects. Adobe actually has sound effects that you can download. And I think he also uses iTunes to purchase some sound effects by searching up like a certain sound. Okay, last thing that I wanted to talk about is creativity. His videos are so, so creative, especially his videos recently. For example, his Transcend video he uses the headphones and he makes it seem like the headphones are taking him into a whole new world and I think that's so genius I really want to stress that you literally can't copy creativity like being creative is one of the coolest things about art in general I think we all have a sort of creative mind and we can create our own sort of worlds with our videos and I just think it's so cool how creative Taylor Cut Films is and he really really does such a good job in showcasing his talent his older videos actually had a lot of inspiring voiceovers to them he had travel films and in the beginning he would create cool little voiceovers like make your life worth watching or like how he wants to emphasize his love for traveling and I always literally appreciate how personalized his videos are and how he tries to inspire us with every video so that's some of the things I got from Taylor Cook Films video style if you have any more things you want to add on to that you can leave it in the comments below i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos remember that all the effects that i've mentioned are going to be in the description below so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video